Hey everyone, today we're going into hardcore hairstyling training with Sabino Dittacchio. Sabino is going to show us how to prepare to compete oh, yes. under extreme conditions in live hairstyling competitions. And we're also going to talk about how doing that will prepare you to be a better hairstylist behind the chair every day in the salon. Ready, go, move it. 20 minutes, I want to see perfection and I want to see also your movements. Movements are very, very important. One and a half minute is gone. We start practicing since September. What we do at the very beginning, we design the line and then we practice, practice, practice to the, till the perfection is done. Training people, for over 30 years. Also, I've trained the Canadian team three times in a row. Competition, what it does, it teaches you the finesse of hair. It teaches you the, all the particulars of how hair should be in health-wise of the hair and beautiful movements that you could achieve with hair. I have won the European Championship. I've won the North American Championship. Uh, the U.S. Championship, I have won it, so uh, really I'm very proud to say that I have won most of my competitions. That's why now I feel I could share my knowledge with all anybody and everybody that wants knowledge about competition. Ten and a half minutes gone. Amanda, you got to move faster. Hold on a minute. You see this over here, that's a hole. That's a hole, that's a hole. So it's mostly in your distribution that you get all the hair and you're moving. Our judges will look for how beautifully the hair is finished. The judges will look the connections of the movements, how the movements move. One, what we call integration. Two minutes. Round, round, think, talk to yourself, talk to yourself. Round, round, round. The best way that people could prepare for competition to start off, we normally start on mannequins because it's very hard to get somebody to come and sit for two, three times a week. You work on mannequins, you perfect the lines of mannequins, and then you get the models and you work from there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, get out of there. Post your model, please. Right on, they're looking good. The nicest thing that the camera is here today, so that put pressure on you guys. But that's what you're gonna have. Don't do this. No, you gotta do this. Pick it up and turn it. Pick it up and turn it. We'd like you to brush the hair the way they're gonna make you do it at the competition day. Go. Together, you gotta make it happen. The model, it's very important also. You want to do the ends, this is what you're gonna come and do so that you get the movement. But if you're standing there, you're not able to see. Take a look here. This has to come forward. If you bring this like that, it just drains your line down. So by bringing this, then this hair has to be really lifted here, lifted. This has to move, okay? Has to move, those, those few little hairs have to move up. With fashion, it's beautiful. Yeah. And yes, some people find it very hard, yeah. but I could do it 24 hours a day, never get tired of it. 45 years and I love doing hair more today than ever. Wow. The reason why I love doing hair more today than ever, because now I got more knowledge of what I gotta do, mm -hmm. everything. 
And to me, that makes it that much easier, that much more fun. So anyone that wants me to give them my knowledge or anyone that wants to uh, share anything with me, I'm, I'm there all the time. Fashion, it's beautiful. Yeah. And yes, some people find it very hard, but I could do it 24 hours a day, never get tired of it. 45 years and I love doing hair more today than ever. Wow. The reason why I love doing hair more today than ever, because now I got more knowledge of what I gotta do, mm -hmm. everything. And to me, that makes it that much easier, that much 